Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Swiss Tech 18-in-1 multi-tool. I've talked about the previous version and finally the new version is here. Let's open it. So here's the multi-tool itself, and it actually looks very similar to an older multi-tool, the Ozark Trail Multiforce. So that one was made by Great Star, who is the owner of the Swiss Tech brand. But Ozark Trail is a Walmart brand, so it seems that their licensing agreement has lapsed. So now Great Star is offering the model under the Swiss Tech brand. Let's just see what else we have here. So we have an uh, instruction manual. And it's in Chinese. So. And we do have a sheath. The material is a little bit soft, but I think it's pretty good. Try it on. Yeah, I think it should work. Let's put it back. So we have here the start of the show, the pliers, and it's dirty. Let me just clean this up. Okay, so that was a bit of a bummer. So we have here the tool. And we have the star of the show, the players. So it seems to be very well made. There's no slack. And we have here the players, the bolt creeper, the wire cutter, and the hard wire cutter. At the back, we have the crimper. And overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. We have a carrying clip here, and this is an improvement over the previous version. So one thing that's really good about the Swiss Tech design is that unlike the Leatherman Wave, the outside tools are not located in this area. Instead, they're over here. And that actually gives you more space here to prevent um, possible pinching when you're using the flares. And here it is closed. So the screws are torque screws, so they're not the security torque screws, so it should be easy to adjust. So let's look at the outside accessible blades. So first up we have the, it's very stiff. We have the plain edge blade. So we have a plain edge here and a spear point. So it's got a chamfered tomb hole and some texturing here to aid in the deployment. So you can see that the edge is pretty good.
and then you unlock it here. And then we have the other blade here. Lacerated sheep's foot. So the blade is also good. Same chamfered thumb hole and texturing here. And then we have the saw. It's a really nice saw, very sharp teeth. So it's a little bit dirty from the factory. And we have the file. So we have a crosscut file here, an almost non existent saw, and the diamond file. This is one thing that I really like about Leatherman Wave, and it's good that it's also here. So now let's take a look at the inside tools. So first we have the the scissors. Pretty good. And then we have a lock here to release it. And then we have a flat edge screwdriver, a big one. I suppose this can also be used as a pry bar. It's pretty thick. And then we have the can opener and a wire stripper over here. This is also a bottle opener, so it's a multi-purpose opener. And on the other side, we have only one tool here, the bit driver. So it has a Phillips screwdriver and a smaller flat edge screwdriver. The bit uses a wall detent, so I don't think we'll be able to use the regular bits. Let's see. Yeah. So what you can do is to actually add a magnet here. But the problem would be that the magnet might shatter on impact. So it would be better if you can get um, bits with ball detents as well. And then we also have a ruler here, both in the inch and millimeter scale. And that's it for the Swiss Tech 18-in-1 multi-tool. I think it's a definite improvement over the old version, specifically because of this clip and the bit driver, as well as the better handle design. So although it's an old design because it was um, originally from the Ozark Trail Multiforce, it's definitely a good addition to the Swiss Tech branded line. Thank you for watching.